Hello Internet, this is Kawa, welcome back to Dungeon Mint. Um, got some really great feedback on the first episode, really appreciate uh, all of the work that uh, the, the developers putting into it, putting up my, my video on Twitter and Facebook, all that stuff, really appreciate it, really happy um, to get that sort of visibility and support. I've turned up the music a little bit, hopefully you can still hear me over it. I'm still tweaking with this whole Let's Play thing as I go, you all know that. Fortunately, this episode will probably not be the hour-long behemoth my first episode was. Uh, but we will keep going, continue the adventure, and hopefully not die. Um, so last week we were, we, we were back here at, at Dungeon Men's Academy. We had identified a whole bunch of things. We had um, done all sorts of good stuff which is pretty great and with that we will keep going head on out um, into the world um, and see what we find like here there's a pit of unyielding Minerva um, I actually want to find a town first um, a group of and a random encounter okay we can deal with that um, Ooh, including a champion. Always fun. Um, hmm. Yeah, lots of enemies on this map. And I am blanking on controls at the moment, which is ridiculous. Firebolt, F target, F shoot. I feel like I lost- yeah, okay. I didn't lose my, uh, my cursor, it's just that I can't see it because it's at the top of the screen. So I guess I will shoot up that way. Shoot at Hungerhorn for all of their damage. And hopefully- no, I can't reach that other crab up that way. There we go. Um, do not underestimate their champions, even though I just killed one. Scroll bolt out there. Just outside range. There we go. Um, map says there's one to our north, and then a whole bunch to our south. Street jit. Dead. With plenty of loot to spare. There's more crab rat, puppy mold, which is an adorable name for something so disturbing. I don't know. Um, oh, I should say, while this episode is coming out after the roguelike, well, after the recording of the roguelike radio episode on it, um, it is actually being recorded before that episode has even been made. So, you will hear me talk in more detail about my thoughts on Dungeon Man's soon, hopefully. Um, it's possible that uh, there more things will come up in that, uh, in that hour. I believe it will be myself, Darren Gray, Evan Howard, as well as Jim Shepard, who is uh, one of, who is one of, I think, if not THE developer. Anyway, Downsy Dale. Um, seems to be our first town. Pretty exciting little place. Um, we have here a lot of generic adventurers whom we know nothing about. Bookshelves. It's probably plausible that these bookshelves have, um, the, the books that would help the academy in them, but I'm not sh or, uh, would increase skills. But I'm not sure. I'm honestly unsure. Um, it, it, it's something I'd need to investigate. But yeah, lots of friendly townsfolk. Um, looks like this is some kind of shop. Random adventure, here we go. What can I do for you? Um, so this person sells various things. Plated fields wrong that we can't use. Some lesser healing potions we'll definitely pick up. Um, a short bow that's worse than ours. Staves, which we can't use. 
tunics, which are not as good as ours. A hammer, which is better than ours. Um, unidentified could be good. Uh, definitely want those potions. I guess, can I afford this? Yes, I can. So I might as well pick it up. Let's equip, let's equip that now. While we're thinking about it. Because we can't deal with those. With those. Um, I'd like to sell some of these excess loots. Okay. Um, definitely wanted to sell the Scrolls of Beckett Monster. Um, kind of interesting that it sells all at once and doesn't really give an option to sell only one at a time. Definitely the turbo, yesterday's knife, the skirt, the blandles, anything we can't equip. I would actually use the uh, sell all of my non-magical non gear, but I want to save these extra flip-flops in case I uh, I find more boot bartering. So I'm, I'm, I can't do that right now. Um, a marking system would be interesting. Um, mark this item to not sell it in that, or mark this item to sell despite the fact that it's mag to auto sell despite the fact that it's magical, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, let me keep selling things here. Uh, sell that sword. The blandles that I don't know what they do, the blandles that I that don't do anything, etc. Uh, I know this is not really the most exciting footage, so maybe I'll stop recording and come right back to you guys. Okay, I've sold off almost everything. I just realized that selling things this way actually does sell off the scrolls of Vecan Monster one at a time instead of selling the whole stack. Um, but the reverse would also be a handy thing to have, I should say that. Anyway, we've netted a decent profit. We've gone over two gold. Now we have two gold, six silver, twenty-seven copper. Um, from what I understand, it's sets of a hundred, and they stack automatically um, the way you'd hope they would. Uh, preface to a biography. Thoughts of chickens. Very important. Controversial novels. Um, let's see, uh, again, just testing a few things, um, if there will be interesting books in, in here, uh, any interesting NPCs worth talking to. I do want to find the, uh, here we go. So this is an inn of some description. Um, generally this one person you pay rent a bed which you don't even really have to use and then they'll sell you various things so let's let's do that um, they'll tell you to rest and then they'll give you uh, a bunch of things you can buy um, want to buy all of these potions, find out what they are over time. I guess I can pick up this mi this mini cloak too because we don't have one yet. Um what else is here? None of those tunics are useful and I guess I can pick up an extra pair of flip-flops uh again in case of more boot barter. I have, I had tons of gold, so it's worth trying, right? Um, alright, oh here is that mini cloak, so that increases my dodge that littlest bit more. I now have dodge of 69 and parry of 4. Very nice. Uh, okay, um, a dungeon mince, that settles it. The bar is officially fancy. Break out the good copperware. Um, you can pay for food, you can pay for a room, um, then you can rest any, um, the entire town is safe, so resting does, you know, in a room doesn't seem particularly special. Um, heard any news around town? 
Word did come by of something interesting out yonder. Might be a pretty good haul for someone like you, assuming the monsters don't get the best of you and want to hear about it. Here's the location appropriate 30, uh, 30 silver to keep you talking. The infinite slumber of cram doom, very far southeast of here. I'll mark it on your map. Um, so you can pay um, up in exchange for more areas. Um, this is sort of an interesting compromise versus having the usual uh, quest system, but yeah. Uh, I'll pay for a second one too. Infinite Dreading of, of Minerva. D infinite Dreaming of Minerva. Uh, so, now we know. Cool. Um, so that gives us a lot of information we didn't have before. Very nice. Um, I keep having this generate where it's a bunch of rooms that I can't access at all because they're at the edge of the map. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. Could be nothing. Could be something really good. I have no way of finding out. I feel like I checked these already. Yeah. Okay. So I think we've had enough of here, um, at least for now. If there's more to do in the o in, in these towns that I don't know about, then well, there's more to do. Um, so he told us about the Pit of Unyielding Minerva, which was the one that we found anyway. Eh, that's okay. Um, and we've gone to another, uh, another ambush. Not really complaining, but there we go. Another bow. Another champion. Uh, Scrobold, where could you be? You're south, further south than me. Um, oh yeah, I didn't really explain this easily, um, but it's fairly intuitive on its own. Uh, you just have to walk to the edge of the map to get back to the overworld from most of these locations. There's the tall chirp. Sadly, I'm not getting proofs of strength or anything from those, uh, those guys. Um, even though they're technically champions. But, eh, what can you do? Anyway, Pit of Unyielding Minerva. I'll do the first level of it and then head back down. And then end the episode here. Just so, you know, I can put these episodes up more often and do some of my other series as well. Um, so we have no idea what's here. Let's start walking around. Lots of, uh, dead ends already. Um, this, this area is labeled as trivial, so I'm not too concerned about, uh, difficulty, though of course being cocky and roguelikes is the number one killer of adventurers. Um, though I'm one-shotting and two-shotting a lot of these things, which is nice to see. There's a used caster skirt, there's another dead end. door here it doesn't lead to anything. Always so strange and interesting. I keep pressing S to search, forgetting that it actually stands for skill in this game. Uh, hey mate, step lively. Oh, that's the worst British accent you've ever heard, I'm sure. Though, uh, if you want a good time, uh, Actually, or if you want a really embarrassing time, depending on how you look at it, ask Darren Gray to imitate a young American female sometime. Just, just, just for giggles. Just, just try it. Um, if you are part of the roguelike community, uh, you will probably have a chance to talk to Darren Gray at some point. Um, and yeah. Accents. Accents are funny things. Anyway, um... Oh, there's that door. Yeah. Hooligans. Hooligans, man. Um... Makes me think a lot of, uh... The terrible stereotypes of soccer fans. Anyway. And yes, I call it soccer. I'm American. Shut up. Um... Town guard shield. Here we go. Um, is that it? 
Is that the entire first level? Seems like it. There's a couple of uh, extra monsters, but I think they'll just keep generating uh, if I stick around. So, might as well... You know what? Let's keep the episode going a little longer. If they're all this length, then I can afford to keep going a little bit. Just to see. See more dungeon. There's always more dungeon to see. So many dead ends. I don't know if there's like some secret search function that I don't know about or something. I hope there isn't. I hope I'm not missing out on a whole bunch of dungeon without realizing it. That would be unfortunate. Uh, what's nice is the, the, the this dungeon at least is small enough that um, I don't mind lack of any quick travel or uh, like fast walk type options. Though those are nice th nice features to have. Uh, anyway, um, keep exploring, keep exploring, hopefully find something good. The whole not being able to see things to my north is going to be the death of me. I'm, I'm calling it, I'm calling it right now. Death will come from above. Death will come from above, and it will make me very sad. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do like this game. I, I know I rag a bit on various features or lack thereof. I do a lot of comparing with other roguelikes, which may or may not be fair comparisons, but I really like this game. I want it to do well. Uh, this episode should come back, come on while the Kickstarter is still happening. I highly, highly encourage um, all of you to support it if if you can. Um, every level counts. Um, I put in twenty five dollars myself, most of which was birthday money. Um, long time watchers will kn um, of my channel will know that I am not really gainfully employed at the moment. Um, so 25 was what I could give, and 25 is what I did give, and I am really happy to be part of the community that will hopefully make this game really something special. Uh, yeah, so hopefully um, that'll happen. If you can support this game on Kickstarter, please do. I love it to piece it. Do it for me! Do it for me because I love this game and I love LPing this game and the money would go into fleshing this game out further and making it more and more interesting and wonderful than it already is. Anyway, um, enough ranting. Uh, we've cleared two floors of the Pit of Unyielding Minerva. I've recorded for about 20 minutes, which is much more reasonable than an hour uh, for a Let's Play, Play episode. So I'm going to call it here. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I will see you next time.